all these conflicts based on who does the state represent. But why should the state need to, uh, need to have a concept of who it represents? Surely it just is, is, should be an administrative system that administrates to any human being within its jurisdiction, doesn't really care whose interests should be administrated. But nationalism was the idea that states represent peoples and peoples are defined as usually an ethno-linguistic group. Because why have a border in the first place? If you have borders, that means there has to be a difference between people. And, and so in the 19th century, the Europeans came up with the idea of nationalism. They thought it was actually a more enlightened way to divide the world. They said instead of empires, where you have one dynasty that controls multiple peoples of different ethnic groups, which was the norm in history, um, or in history, people usually had tribes. Like, just because you're from the same ethnic group doesn't mean that you would unite with, your tribes would unite with each other. They'd usually fight each other. They'd fight their neighbors before they fight, you know, foreigners, right? So, like, the ancient Greeks, they all spoke Greek, but they all had many wars against each other. They didn't care about, oh, we were fellow Greeks. They didn't care about that, um, to, to make a one nation uh, concept. It's, it's really brand new, the idea of nationalism. It's very, it's a, it's a Western ideology. But racism does come from it because the idea of nation is based on ethnicity. So th there's always going to be that. And even in countries which are, you could say, artificial um, nations, ones which are created from a variety of ethnic groups, there's still racism in those countries. Why? Because usually a particular country was formed by one particular people that come from one particular ethnicity. And so they'll always say, we or our ancestors were the founders of this particular country and you all have to respect the traditions of the founders of this country, which is English, Anglo-Saxon, Protestant, whatever, right? <laughs> yeah.